Hello? Anybody here? Anything here that gets our hacking up? Not so much. Proximity alert. Biology human. Protocol kill all plants. Suspect. Present your Rizzo identification credentials or prepare to be downsized. Disengage security protocols. I'm not a threat. Attempting to disengage security protocols without proper authorization is a fireable offense. Priming weapons. Uh, I, I am an authorized Rizzo employee. Password anti diluvian. Executive level password accepted as identification according to employee ID protocol A 3501. Welcome back, Doctor. Be advised. Mantasaur threat level is petrifying purple berry. Please use caution. Mantasaur wounds are not covered under Rizzo's health policy. Have a productive day. Um, thanks. Okay. Signal A down through the messages first. From redacted subjects, see you, at the st see you on the station. From redacted to E. Chartrand. You will not see me, but I will be close. Continue your research, Doctor. Report to me when you have achieved a mission end state. I understand we're bound for a secondary lab. Will you be supervising our research this time, or will it be the standard work from the shadows routine? Ava. From E. Chartrand to L. Fowl. Thank you for your optimism, Law. What we're doing isn't easy under the best circumstances, much less with the board cutting corners. I can't promise you that our research will lead to a better halcyon, even if we have to pay a terrible cost getting there. Ava. From Redacted. You have your orders, Doctor. Your project is too important, too sensitive to allow any hint of it to reach the public. With all respect, I urge you to reconsider your de decision to classify our research results from the native fauna of Terra 1. I assure you that we will diligently redact any references to our project or its purpose from any papers we release. We have made several discoveries about how the terraforming process affected the nuclein of the Raptodon and Manti families. At the very least, allow us to inform our fellow board researchers that these creatures will perish when O2 concentrations are reduced to 19.5%, a level within human tolerance. This is not about fame or prestige, this is about potentially slave it, saving lives. Signal Ada to land on Castadian, okay. Search fuel controls. The closest functioning terminal of refueling authorization is located above the Flavor R&D lab. Okay. Thanks Ada. Right you are. Okay, that's the entrance, good. Ooh, what have we got in here? Mm, 
Where are they? There they are. Alright team, let's go hunt some mad saw. Ooh, nice. Bring out the big guns. What? Ellie, what are you doing up here? <laughs> okay. Good job, Pavati. Oh, that's where we need to go. Ideal. I was skeptical that animal trials would yield good data, but I wanted to start small. I wish someone had thought to pack a breeding stock of fruit flies from Earth, writing them off as mere pest species has limited our research efforts more than once. With approval from PI, I have made arrangements to pursue the Borst factory near Fallbrook. Sisty pigs mature reasonably swiftly. I feel this is the best option available to us. I've done great things with Sisty pig engineering in the past. Of course, my current project is far more difficult than merely enhancing the baconated flavoring of Sisty pig tumors. Let's see if I can make lightning strike twice, this time on alternate tissue. The board has repeatedly denied my request for data from the other teams investigating the issue. I'm guessing their efforts have progressed no further than ours. There is some good news. We'll be heading to a town called Cascadia. Apparently Rizzo volunteered to provide lab space. We could use a change of scene. I'll ask the movers to handle this terminal with care. I'm starting to have doubts that animal testing will yield the results we seek, but succumbing to pessimism helps no one. All right, let's align the fueling system. Okay, um, initiate transfer of alter vitae gas. Uh oh, okay. Thanks are restricted to the executive research focus group terminal located in the R&D labs. Right. There we go. Almost done. Nearly there. It's that direction. Why don't we go check out this place down here? See if there's a. See if we can get past this security. Here we go. Where is that? Oh, it's these guys. Down they go. 
Oh, is Ellie down? Hope you get Ellie. Captain, this terminal controls airflow for the entire bunker. I've got an idea. Okay, let's hear it. I'll drop the O2 levels to 19.5%. That's still enough for humans, but the mantisaurs will die in a matter of minutes. Here goes. Good point. Don't thank me yet. Nice one! All right. Which makes things a little easy. Not a little easier anyway. Okay, we're on full circle. Wait, wasn't there another room back here that I didn't go in? No, okay, good. Linwood Rial, in gratitude, Dr. Ava Chartrand, Dr. Lorelei Fall, Dr. James Guthrie, Dr. Charles McNulty, Dr. Claire Pearsall. Okay. Research notes, tissue compatibility, acceptable losses. Chief concern is rejection of the tissue, a problem as classical as limb transplantation, though obviously on a cellular level. The scale of the problem though, even with the Alta Vitae bolstering our efforts, an achievement of such proportion has never been attempted or even considered. How do we define a tolerable failure rate when the losses could swell to affect millions? Even 1% is unthinkable. I have much to consider. The project has been reassigned to a secondary lab. I'm told the board is pulling out a Terra 1 and we don't even have time to transfer a research. For once, I'm grateful our labours didn't make significant strides here. I won't forget Tom's sacrifice and up until the end, he knew it had to happen. If it wasn't one of us, the board would have volunteered inmates from Tartarus. I'll be sure to carry his example to the new lab and to the next phase of human trials. I guess that's the guy we saw in the tank, wasn't it? Be 
some kind of award for that. Oh well. If I patch this into our fuel cell network, we can use the empty tank, this ult of what a biddle stuff. Just gotta compensate for the pressure difference. We burn liquid reaction mass, not gas. And the cells are distributed all through the hull, so I gotta isolate the empties. Hmm, that looks right. You remember the sticky valve on number 16? Of course I did, Captain. Just gave it a little jiggle. There we are. Good as pretty and twice as new. Nice work. Oh, I just... just did my thing. You know. Hey, take the lament. You did the work. What have we got here? Uh. Ooh, mind control ray, science weapon. I'm sure she's fine. on the ship if you like. Yeah, great.
the hell is that? Sitheno. It's a new one. Quite large. No oh boy. I've seen a lot of the colony, huh, Dr. Fenhill? Ellie. And sure, but most of it looks the same from inside a ship. Sorry, Dr. Ellie. Still, though, don't you find it thrilling? See it in space? Look, it's just Ellie. Okay, let's just uh, Our finish this up. Our are now primed with Alta Vitae gas. As the organics say, let us hope we do not explode in transit to the Groundbreaker. Yeah, we do say that. Oh, we've got to go to the Groundbreaker, haven't we? Right, okay. Um, do we have to do that right now? No, let's finish up what we got to do here on Monarch. Okay. That's the last one we got to do outside um, uh, Stella Bay for now, I think. So why don't we go do this? 
Ja. Nice thing about traveling with the captain. We meet all sorts of new people. Sure, best part. We're doing this. Damn it! Where'd the other one go? Sprat's really hostiles, I mean. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah. Sure. Best part is when they pay us. We never really had new folks in the water, except the captain. It's kinda hard to make new friends when everyone's already decided they don't like you. Could be a favor in disguise. A lot of people out here ain't that nice. Hey, I know you. Boss says you've been real helpful, like. But, uh, we got this handled. We appreciate, but do not require your assistance. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. What's going on here? We're fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? I'm supposed to meet someone here, that's what. Right. Carlotta. Yeah, she's inside. We got first rights, though. Soon as we fix that generator, she's ours. Mm, why are you after her? You'd have to ask the boss. I just know she wants Carlotta voided. Uh, let me handle this, and I'll give you the credit when I report to Catherine. I don't know what your angle is, but... All right. Be sure to tell her how hard it was to fix the generator. You know, after you're done fixing it. You watch yourself, Niles. The sublight squad is gone. Relax. I've been cooped up in here for almost two days. Who are you anyway? I'm Joker. Graham sent me to collect supplies. Thank you. 
I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. Graham ordered rollers and whatsits, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. Get high capacity cartridges or extra supplies from Carlotta. Um, why did Sajar ban you from working for with the iconoclasts? You'd have to ask him. All I know is that if I get caught, I'll get arrested. Why have you been helping Graham? It's an enviable thing he's doing. Free people and all that. I can't live that way. I need my structure. But I respect the iconoclasts for doing it. Where will they get their supplies now? Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? Uh, Graham's looking for some high capacity data cartridges. Yeah, I've got a few. I'll send them along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. Actually, I should have gone for the one Sora wanted. That's. Oh well. Okay, let's get a hack up to 60, I think. And. Put some more lockpick. Okay, so let's head back to the Iconoclasts. Ah, oh, crazy town. Never change. Everybody here looks wore out. Is it just me? I'm telling you, the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the... Where in this sulfur-sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. Uh, I got your rollers and shared those cartridges after all. Damn it. I was hoping you'd have more sense than our venerable leader here. I get the message is important, but so's eating. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? Uh, she isn't. Sanjar has declared a stop sale on goods to the iconoclasts. That is most unfortunate. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanjar, old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... we will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. Um... Hmm. Yeah, speaking of that, I need you to stop using Devil's Peak. Might I ask why? Uh, I need information out of it, but I can't get it while you and Sanjar are using it. I see. Well, I suppose it's only fair that if you help us, we help you. So be it. If we can bring the printing press to its full functionality, then I'll have no use for that rust bucket of a radio tower. Time to fix up the printer press then. The print... Oh no. Graham, you didn't. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Vanoys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. Is a printing press really worth all these people's lives? 
There's gotta be a better way to get your message out. I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. Uh, do you two ever stop bickering? This is worth bickering over. The iconoclasts can't keep their heads in the ground forever, or they're going to starve and die slow. Look, just... If the Vernois are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them. I'll do everything I can. makes me feel sane by comparison. Ooh. Smells like those old Sundays when we'd unload cell two shipments to the camp. Here we go! It's the van noise. You guys alright? Talk to me. Hope you're here to help. We only got so many bullets left and I ain't keen on you one on you. Uh, there's always so much to look for you guys. Once I get you out safe, I'll see about that press. Thank the Eternal. We could use a hand. But we can't leave without patching these guys up. Acker here is bleeding out and Jensen can't see straight. Our medic has got our trauma kit, but we got separated. We ain't seen him in a couple of hours. My professional medical advice is to get out of here as soon as possible. 
bleeding might kill him, but rats definitely will. How many years of medical school went into that word of wisdom? Sorry, sorry. We appreciate the assist. We just need to find our medics so we can do exactly as you say. Get the hell out. Mm, any idea where he went? Yeah, on account of giving him the order. He's searching the old settlement to the north of the press. Got it. I'll see if I can find him. get the doctor first. Ooh, big ones. Oh boy. Euthanasia kid, what the hell? Okay, let's get the van noise out of here then, shall we? Any luck out there? Uh, I found a trauma kit. Your medic is dead. Oh, fuck. Well, that's better than nothing. Thanks. We'll head out as soon as we're patched up. Righto. Good luck. Safety announcement draft. A draft of different safety announcements from when the press was still operational. Most of them have been crossed out. 
Safety guards there to guard your safety. Replacement limbs are no replacements at all. Let's convey safety standards around our conveyor. Don't be a fool around spools. What are we dealing with in here? We'll just fight the big ones then, shall we? in here anyway. Final notice, Schuster C. To whom it may concern, I, Caden Schuster, do hereby declare my official resignation. Delivery services to the Terra 1 printing facility OD-2214 shall cease forthwith. During my tenure of service, I have made no numerous complaints regarding the hazardous of working on this law forsaken rock, including but not limited to 1. The infestation of unknown insects in my sinus cavities, resulting in weeks of unpaid leave. 2. The as yet unreimbursed loss of several articles of clothing due to the acidic properties of the local atmosphere. 3. A constant, unrelenting aggression for local wildlife. 4. A persistent itching and coughing malady in my lungs, likely due to breathing in trace amounts of sulphur. 5. Equally persistent indigestion, a symptom of an overall nutritional problem stemming from the fact that I am, in fact, allergic to fish, which is the main diet provided to service workers based in Stella Bay. I have received the following responses to these complaints, all of which I deem unacceptable. 1. At my resulting loss of olfactory senses, I was deemed, quote, lucky to no longer suffer the stench of fish and sulphur. 2. My wardrobe was replaced with uniforms out of Stella Bay, which suffered the exact same degradation, and I was thus no better off. 3. At my insistence, I was awarded the services of a local hunter, one N. Ramanarim Wentworth, who spent the entire service call inebriated and offended my sensibilities with off-colour language. 4. After a thorough medical examination, I was found to be in working health, which was deemed more fortunate than many. 5. At my insistent that assistance at additional dietary needs be offered, I was instead awarded extra supplies of toilet paper. After this latest response, I hereby tell whoever is reading this to go hang themselves, and that your replacement rollers, ink carts, belting bindings, keys, stamps, lubricants, and whatever else is in these infernal boxes can all be found rotting in the wilderness. Good day to you. Sincerely, Caden Schuster. Yeah, boy. No. Oh. Wow, you got that? I 
I did get that. Okay, shipment status, UDL masks. Mr. Bolshov, UDL Mark four security masks are meant for use in crowd dispersal scenarios. They are not appropriate for a workplace environment. Your purchase request has been denied. From Bolshov D to UDL accounts receivable. To whom it may concern, I was talking to one of our guards and he isn't having trouble breathing at all. In fact, none of our guards have had an asthma attack from the air here. We believe it is because of their gas marks. I've attached a purchase request for safety equipment for the rest of us. All factory filters. Ms. Bolshov. Focus testing indicates that the air quality on Terra 1 does not warrant the use of olfactory filters or any other scent blocking equipment. Your purchase request for something to deal with a stink of sulfur is denied. From Bolshoff to UDL accounts receivable. Who may concern? My boss is using olfactory filters to ward off the scent of sulfur from his law forsaken from this law forsaken planet. I've attached a per purchase request for a number of filters so that the rest of us don't have to suffer. Placement rollers. Do I want to start from the bottom here? According to the manufacturer, your current rollers are capable of retaining efficiency in all environments. We have no evidence to support your claim that the rollers are degrading because of this fucking air. Um, they aren't lasting as long because of the sulfur in this fucking air. We need new parts before the ones we've got break. Ms. Bolshoff, our records indicate that your facility is not due to for replacement parts for another five months. We will send new parts, including rollers, when that time comes. The rollers are pretty... Yeah, I should start from the bottom. Okay, so the rollers are... Broken is the takeaway message there. Okay, it takes us back outside. Terry's birthday. No, we are not cel celebrating Terry's birthday. Terry's dead, folks. I know he meant a lot to everyone here, myself included, but let this un his untimely demise be a lesson about safety in the workplace. Don't pet the canids. To all employees of Terra 1 Publications, yes, the rumours are true, we're leaving. The board has decided to cut their losses and operate on Terra 2 instead. In accordance with the evacuation orders, we are to await a shuttle out of Cas Cascadia. When we get word that our ride is on the way, we'll shutter this, uh, yeah, shutter this facility, pack everything up and lock the door on the way out. Until then, however, we are expected to continue working. I'm sure Rias are forthcoming, but that's not an excuse to slow down. We still have magazines to publish, people. Our customers are eager to find out what happens in Distant Hunter number 112. Halcyon Holdings Corporate Board on the issuing of a hazard clause for Terra 1. This notice, issued on January 12, 2343, serves as the public denouncement of Terra 1 as a feasible workplace environment. Due to the hostile and aggressive nature of the wildlife, as well as the unsustainability of its natural flora for use in human consumption, the House and Holdings Corporate Board has officially enacted a hazard clause covering the entirety of Terra 1. After an evacuation period of no more than six months, Terra 1 will be officially considered illegal territory. As this is a unanimous decision, any corporation caught operating on Terra 1 after the evacuation period will face fines and possible disbarment, as defined in Halcyon Code 22.1. Install the rollers. Good. All right.
Dr. Ellie, you ever wonder if maybe we got some things in common? This isn't another thing about wrenches and guns, is it? Because you're a surgeon and I'm a mechanic. We both fix things, heal them up. Hate to break it to you, but before I got to Groundbreaker, I fixed more noses than bones. Nowadays, I probably shoot more than I save. Oh. If you'll just listen... No! No more listening! No more preaching! We are losing people left and right! We need to act! Enough, Zora. I'm not putting the torch to innocent people. Do you want to bring the board's cruisers and gunships down on us? Captain, apologies, but our situation grows dire. Our people talk of foolish endeavors. What news do you bring? Uh, what are you arguing about? We're out of time. We need food and ammunition. We need to hit Stellar Bay while we still have the manpower to do it. You want to attack the city? Yes, I know it's drastic, but it's clear that Sanjar will never cooperate. And if it's him or us, I choose us. Uh, are they really doing better? Doubtful. But we don't need much, and Sanjar isn't going to share. Sure, but it seems desperate. It is. We are desperate. We're starving. My people are dying left and right. I see. Listen, I've been to the printing press, it's clear. Excellent. Did you find the Vanois? Yes, the Vanois are on the way back. Thank the Eternal. We're one step closer to bringing the truth to every man, woman, and child in Halcyon. This plan's brilliance is in its subtlety. For the time being, let us cease our activities on the tower, lest we bring premature attention upon us. I have much to do. Articles to write, sermons to ponder. We live in such an exciting time. Let's talk later. Sermons? For the love of... I'm going to see to the wounded. Hmm, we got some armor previously, didn't we? Hmm, nearly over-encumbered. Might need to get out of the ship and drop a load of this stuff off. Uh, it looks pretty cool. That's all right, I suppose. Nothing special. Okay, so how are we doing? I think we've got to go back to Stella Bay now. That's back in Groundbreaker. I gotta go back to Sandar and then Sebastian. Okay, good. Right, so next time we will start in um, back in Stella Bay. And we'll, well, see if we can um, sort out these guys and get everyone to get along. <laughs>